Three companies, disrupting what you know about marketing and branding. Welcome to M Squared. Hello, friends, and welcome back to M Squared Podcast. I'm here with our friends, Anthony Rapp, the Wizard of Oz behind PR marketing and events. Also joined by Mike Bloomfield, the IT superhero. What's up? And I'm Dan Ryan with the Staten Island Media Group. The wizard behind the curtain. That's no. Why not? But we are proud to be joined today by my friend, a mom entrepreneur, Danielle Stout. So Danielle, welcome. Thank you. Give you guys a little background on Danielle. She and I went to high school many years ago, more years ago than I wish to I remember, know, unfortunately. It's so sad. At least you still look good. Me. You not look so great, much. you look exactly the same. But you hit the brick wall. Yeah, I did. Not highway Stop. miles, right? These are all <laughs> off-road miles. Not one mile on the highway over here. <laughs> but Danielle has been involved with many things over the years. She actually won, which I found out. I didn't know she mm-hmm. won. We just found out. She was the winner of The Amazing Race, along with our friend Danielle Torchio at the time. I don't yeah. know her maiden name. Heel. Danielle Sorry. Heel now. Got no. It. Sorry, Dick. She still calls me Danielle Turner, so okay. It's okay. I'm just saying. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Yeah, no. But since she won The Amazing Race, she has gone on to become a real estate agent. And now, most recently, she has launched her own line called Jolie. 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 Pretty one. It means pretty one. I could have read the box. Oh, there you go. Jolie line of hair extensions. And I thought she'd be a great fit today, guys, because she is a local person who is doing a great job of branding, raising awareness, and she has a very unique brand in a very niche market. And she's done so much that I thought maybe she could shed some light onto what we're trying to accomplish here and give it out some tips. So is now when we tell Dan that the reason she's here is to find out if you have hair plugs or not? Oh, I was waiting. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sure we, these are making the even more in. The first thing like she Jessica said. Kinsopolis if I put these in. First thing she said was you had lustrous hair when I you did in. say that. I appreciate it. There's yeah, nothing worse than the same joke I get every time whenever I have a hair extensions on a table and the bald guy says, can I have some? <laughs> Do you have a set for me? I'm like, it's old. It's old. Everyone says that. <laughs> get a new one. So before we get into asking you questions and stuff, just give us a little background. Talk a little bit about what you've done, where you are now, and a little bit about the brand before we actually like yeah. pointed questions. About yeah. So I was in real estate and as of a year ago, I slowed down with it and I moved to Jersey. So now living in Jersey, I was as a stay-at-home mom of three kids. It always gets a little boring. All moms hate being home and we love being home, but then we always feel like we're a little bored. We need something to do. So my so sister. you're saying my wife is bored? Definitely. I figured that. Oh, well, you I know tell, what? When I tell her that, she gets mad. You know what? We don't want to tell you that because we don't want you to say, then go work. We're like, <laughs> we don't really want to do that. And now you're saying, so you're going too far. But um, it's a little boring. So I said I wanted something for my own self to feel good and have something to do. So my sister is a hairdresser. And she's a phenomenal hairdresser at the Platinum Project in Staten Island. And I've always been a hair extension guru, so I was always torturing her and getting my hair done. To find that. Go back. Oh, my gosh. To us. Okay, so girls, obviously, some girls are born with just beautiful, thick, gorgeous hair down to their butts. Like Dan. Exactly. But not me. And I always had, I've always been like platinum blondes and tortured my hair. And when you were blonde, your hair gets damaged and just the texture's not the same. So I was always cutting it and growing it. So I was always throwing hair extensions in. And one of the companies that I used to always use, I loved them, but then I'd start to say, oh, these colors are so boring. And then I'd have to buy $400 extensions and then my sister would have to tone them or color them. And now they're ruined and not the same texture. So I was like, I wonder if I could start my own and get more like dimensional blends and create my own color line where it's like not just the boring colors. So I took a year and a half trying to find a really good vendor that took a lot of work, a lot of money spent just on testing hair. Believe it or not, like it always comes pretty in the package. And then as soon as you wash it or wear it, it's crap. So the dumb question, it is uh, human hair. Right? That's the thing. So yes, okay. it's supposed to be a human hair. That's Hair extensions are supposed to be human hair. <laughs> Look, smile, it's very weird. Classy. <laughs> yeah. It's a re- but it's a real No, thing. it's a real question because quickly when it's not. Quickly when it's not like they, they'll tell you it's, oh, it's human hair. And then you get it. If you had sunscreen, it turns pink. You'll know right away after the first wash, it's tangled, disaster, dry. Like, it's terrible. So Mike actually has a lot of experience in this because, fun fact, Mike has a lot of wigs. Yeah. I do? Oh, I, I do. One. I have <laughs> one wig. It's Doc Brown from the back. To, oh, I do have the emo wig as Uh-oh. well. No, he's, as he's going in his head. I've seen a few. Uh, the, all right, there's some wigs. All right. <laughs> there's more than two. <laughs> Well, this what about, is my what about the ones hair. Nicole has for you? Really? Hair Where's plug? We're going now about my I hair? I have hair. No. <laughs> but if you asked me like two weeks ago about like hair plugs, I would, oh, hair plugs, hair extensions, hair extensions <laughs> you're on my mind. I would oh, be like, what are you talking about? But now here at Tech Geek, we have about half 
of the employees are men and the other half are women. Mm-hmm. And then one of my employees, Julia, who's actually in here listening because <laughs> she's very excited to hear what you have to say, is I'm going to get extensions. And then we found out how much these extensions were. Oh, we'll yes. get there. And we were like, yeah, we'll get there. And then I think I, we'll give her a discount though. I think we And then I didn't out. tell I her I didn't tell her you were coming in today. And then today Julia looks like really mad. And I'm like, what's wrong? And then she pulls out of her <laughs> backpack or a purse a piece of a hair extension that actually fell out of her hair. It was and, like a pet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? And I'm like, good news because Rap has scheduled Danielle Stout to come in and we're going to talk love? about extensions today. But She's I taking would, notes. I would never knew this was like a thing. Oh, yeah. So it's a big up, thing. Back up a little bit, though. You're not a hairdresser. You don't have a background in it. It's just... No. I am not a hairdresser. I just know like hair color and like quality hair extensions. I because I've been wearing them my whole life. I used to make my own clip-ins when I was younger because I was. Where did you get that hair? So we would go to where we live. It's a store that's they'll just sell hair and you buy the hair and you buy the clip separate and I would sew them on. Is that like next to the deli? Where's that hair store? <laughs> the cash checking place. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever cut someone's hair off just like when they were sleeping because you really liked it? No, but I definitely have envied a lot of hair. And I'm like, I want to look like that all the time. So it's instead of just looking at it from afar, you buy the hair and clip it in your head. I envy his hair so I could make that money. I, you got to just give him your hair already. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. So I got a lot of questions, but let's start with yeah. the basic one. So from being a mom to then launching this brand in particular, give us the... Where did the name come from? What was the journey like? How so, did you come up with the logo design? It's actually a funny story because I this was not the original name. It the, never is. The original name, and it's funny because I was I was new to this whole starting your own business, so I didn't even look as far into it as I should have initially, and I was creating logos and going crazy. The first name was supposed to be The Hair Affair. Who doesn't have a love affair for hair? I like this one better. Okay, good. To be honest with you. Okay, good. And then I said... Hair affair's a little... And also, me and my sister were talking about it, and she's like, Dan, like, that word could trigger girls. The word affair, like, maybe that's not going to... Or maybe sales would increase. Who knows? (laughs) It could go either way, but she was like, I don't know. And I couldn't use it anyway, because it was already taken. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to make myself feel better and say, yep, it was definitely going to trigger everybody. So (laughs) that's it. We're not going to use it. And then we did some brainstorming and we are French. So I'm like a mutt. I'm every, I'm everything. So we are French. And this word Jolie is a French word and it means pretty one. So we thought that was really nice. And we just went with that. And I wanted like a black and white, very classic look. Almost when you see like Hermes and it's just like the orange box and it's Hermes. Or that pink bag over there. Or that, that pink bag. Is that a Gucci? One look. That's what not is, my bag. But I think what is it? Is it Gucci? Is it Gucci? I think it might be Gucci. Not Gucci? It's Gucci today. Either way. It's, maybe it's Fucci, but it's it still looks Chinatown amazing. Chinatown Gucci. It looks amazing. <laughs> so that so you got the name. So I got the and name. Then and you then you took it a step further because there's a lot of brands out there that don't have custom packaging like yes. you do. So talk about that. How do you so source that? Where do you come ha- up with that? So what happened was I, so I'm sure everyone's heard of like Alibaba, sure. right? So they're great if you're going to get everything in bulk because it's not, they're not going to just send you one thing. So I said to myself, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it full out because it's very hard when you're ordering hair from vendors it's it, you, if you can't just order, especially just hair. hearing you say that is, makes me smile. <laughs> I, wh- because, where do you order hair? So it could be from anywhere. It could be from Russia. It could be from Europe. It could it's be from China. It could be from literally anywhere. Vietnam. It's crazy where you can get hair from. But again, it all goes back to the quality. And on, what do we all know about quality? Quality. If it's really good, it's not cheap. So right. was I getting in the beginning? Wow, that's not that bad. I'll get that bundle and I would get it shipped to my house. And I'm like, oh, this is great. And if this works out, that'd be phenomenal. And then of course, in a week, the hair is falling apart. It's terrible and it's crap. So it took me a while. And then I finally found this one company, this one vendor. And they, when, as soon as I opened the box, I knew. I did the testing on it. I washed it. I cleaned it. I wore it in my head for six months. Like I did the whole kit and caboodle. It was phenomenal. So now I'm saying, okay, I have this amazing hair. I know it's better than any other hair I've worn because it's keeping up with my lifestyle. I'm wearing it in my own head. And the price of it is not cheap. So I said, if I'm going to create a luxury brand, it has to look like a luxury brand. I'm not going to just be like, here's your hair in a plastic bag. So where's the best hair from? So the best hair depends on how they take care of it, really, to be honest with you, whoever it is. If it is from China, I know sometimes China has some kind of bad reputation with certain vendors. But if it's a real reputable company, because they are not like over bleaching it, they're not, they're taking care of it in a way where the cuticle's intact. That sounds funny. Like you're like, what does that even mean? The cuticle intact in hair extensions just means that it's all flowing in the same direction. So when you're wearing it, it doesn't tangle. It doesn't get matted. 
These are just important things for girls that are going to spend four or five hundred dollars on hair. You don't four want... or five hundred dollars? Oh yeah. I heard thousands. So no. it's, it's all that's about if the someone quality. does it. No. Oh yeah. So if you get permanently in your head, it's up to a thousand easily. That's wild. Yeah. Easily. So is so, now a hair like hair extension? How long will it last? So again, if it's good hair like Julie, quality hair, it will last you years. That's the nice part about it. So, so it's an investment. It is an investment. And if you take care of them and you don't, and especially clip-ins, you do not need to wash them all the time. They're not like, it's not in your head all the time. You're taking them out, putting them in your little Jolie garment bag in your oh. closet. It's like an accessory. You have a Jolie garment oh, bag. Oh, yes, we do. Now, Very nice. is there a resale value? Can you wear this hair for a year and then go resell it to someone else? Total, absolutely. Who wouldn't? People will buy it. People. <laughs> it's upcycling. <laughs> I'm sure if we went on eBay, we could find some used hair extensions that are being sold. Absolutely. So you got the box, you got the name, got you got the, the quality hair, right? I got and the quality then, hair. So and talk about the launch and how you did that. Yeah. So that launching a brand is very difficult. Very difficult. I was super nervous. I, you know how it is with anything new, you're spending so much money in the beginning. It's not, and you're nervous because you're like, this is a big move. Am I really doing this? Just the initial order for the initial hair was a lot. And then putting all this together was a lot. And then... I heard, hired a content creator, and she's amazing. She's sitting right behind yeah. you, so you better, you better compliment <laughs> Christiana, her. Christiana, she's amazing. We were going to talk about her yes. later. We're going to talk about and, her. And she helped me launch it, and we did an amazing photo shoot, and it, everything just came out beautiful. So the initial launch was on my Instagram, and everyone went nuts for it. I have to say, like, it, That's how I found it. Yeah. And, and, and you're not, I'm like, not, you're not looking for hair extensions. Right. And it literally, I have to say, it came, it started out with a bang. Like everyone was just like, what's going on here? And then I was like, well, we have to keep this rolling. So then my sister's a hairdresser. I said, let's put it in your shop. So now if anybody in Staten Island is like, hey, where could I physically see it? Instead of just ordering it online, because it is hair. I said, oh, go to Sola. You can shop, go in, get color matched immediately and shop right there. And then girls love that. And so you I also have that. partnerships. You mentioned your sister's salon, but I've seen you promote that any salon can reach out to you Absolutely. and carry a product. So, so they don't realize, I don't even know if they realize how beneficial it is to have a clip-in. Clip-ins are great for your brides, for the girls that are, like we said, don't want the permanent hair extensions all the time. And it's not as the, the hairdresser that they have to really sit there and now spend two hours on you. It's a quick right. sale and a quick commission for them. It's on their wall. Are you listening, Mike? <laughs> the salon's making money. The girl selling it's making money. And I'm making money. And it's a great. And everybody's happy. And it looks great, too. Well, that's why the packaging is pretty. And we have the name. And it's awesome. So really, gold, it's the whole kit and caboodle. He's got that smile. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing I have a hanger for the oh, ties. Oh, yes. For the ties I don't wear. But they all like drape over. I just picture like in the closet. Oh, yeah. It's just all hair extensions oh, hanging. It. He also has the I mannequins the for the wigs. <laughs> <laughs> you want, I'll bring a wig next time. <laughs> but talk about the unobvious benefits, right? So you said it's good, it's high end, right. but it's also a lifestyle thing, right? It's oh all, it's gosh. it's not just uh, it's a, a whole piece lifestyle. of hair. It's a oh lifestyle. Oh my gosh! It's, so, and listen, everybody wants to feel pretty. Every girl wants to feel good about themselves, and not to say that you're not pretty without hair extensions, but it does give that extra va va voom. It always it just spice, it spices it up, right? It really does. It makes you feel like that little extra. And then the positive with the clip-ins for me right now is that you're not damaging your hair. Like I was wearing the permanent for a long time as well, and my hair got super damaged from it. And it's a lot of work. It's like you almost dread taking a shower and blow drying your hair. It's like an extra hour and a half of your time. So now with so this. my wife really is doing something when she's in the shower. Oh, the yeah. No, she's dreading the next <laughs> 45 minutes of her life for sure. I just bought her that Dyson thing. It's like a $500 oh, thing for yeah, her head. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Is it good? I actually I don't have the Dyson. Vacuum. I heard it's good, though. I thought a vacuum. I'm like, why I, know. Do I, I thought so a too. vacuum? It's thing. just as expensive as a vacuum. That's it, the best it is. part. And it is a blow dryer. But, but, so it, put it this way. It had an option to put it on multiple payments when you bought it. I'm like, what is this? That's crazy. Now, again, I can't say anything because I got statues all over the yeah, place. Yeah, right. that's all right. If my wife wants a five hundred dollar blow dryer, go buy it. I know. So, yeah. if if you have to wash your hair every day, why don't you have to wash the hair extension every day? Because they're really not. They're not like think about our head. It gets oily, and the scalp is constantly. That's why we're washing our hair every day. These are on clips on a band, so they're just sitting on flat in your head. They're not really getting damaged, really. Right, it's not your hair that's means. swelling. No. It's your head. I would say every like six to ten times, you want to maybe take them out, put them on your jewelry hanger, and give them a quick wash, and then air dry them and blow dry them. And they really do. They will last a long time. You don't put product in them or anything. Yeah, like I'll give like today. I threw a little hairspray in it, and who cares? It actually like thickens them up a little even more so it doesn't matter and then I'll put them back in my bag and when I wear them again on the weekend 
take them out. It's like a little shirt or something. So using your hands, how oh, far my does real your actual hair, hair go? Is like here, short. Okay, and then so this you, is all it's like an extra here. six inches. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My hair is so short. My hair was up to my neck only a year, like two years ago. So like I'm still growing it out. But yeah, you could go down a four, 24 inches. This is it's like a mane. <laughs> Or you could say, hey, I have super thin hair. I don't want my hair long and down to my butt. So I just want to add a little thickness to it. You can get 12 inch extensions and then that'll just add like volume to your hair. So there's so many things that you can do. I see the hamster spinning in Mike's head. Um, <laughs> so we have your content creator here with us and I'm yes. glad we'll shout her I out. Know, I forgot her name. Best. What's the name for company? Christiana, Christiana. Unapologetically Social. Unapologetically right? Social. Yeah, right. our Instagram make sure we, handle. Make sure we check them out. <laughs> She's the so best. So talk a little bit about what you and her company are doing to promote this because it's a niche product oh, and yes. it's geared only to women. So yeah. that's a good thing and a bad thing, but it's also extremely high end. You're saying it's, it's four or five hundred dollars. Yeah, it's pop. extremely high end. So and what do you do in your marketing? So that's what it is. You know how it is. It's sex sells, beauty sells. That's just how it is. We do a lot of photo shoots together where we do one of one or two things. I'll either do a photo shoot where I'm getting like the hottest girls throwing the hair in their hair and showing it how it looks. So like. we need to do a podcast for the next <laughs> commercial shoot. Just yeah. don't oh, no. forget us on that. We're doing right? a Barbie themed coming up soon. It's going to be very hot on the beach. It's going to be very nice. So yeah, we make everyone look super hot. These are like some ideas we'll do, some content we'll do. And then we'll do some how-tos where my sister, because she's the hairdresser, will collaborate with another hairdresser and they'll show how to put them in because girls ask that all the time. How do, I would love to buy them. How do I put them in? They're so easy. And I always tell them like everyone's head is different. So these come with seven pieces in it. Some people have a very small head and some people don't. And it's, you may not need all these pieces every time you get ready. So you, you could save them. Yeah, you could save them. You can add all of them if you're giving it like a full split look. Them. Split them up. Yeah. One or two people. Oh, yeah. Split See, so you can split the pack. And he has two daughters. They could use there three you go. There you go. You can. It's true. But yeah, so everyone's different. So like we do content all different kinds of ways. And that's the whole point of social media, right? Like you can't just do one thing. So it's always got to be new faces and sex appeal and how to's. So we're just trying to constantly keep up. And, and then I have to do videos, which is a lot of work. I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I got to put myself on the camera. And it's as women, it gets exhausting because it's easier for a man to just be like, oh, I'm going to put the camera on and I'm going to just start talking to the camera. And I'm like, I take offense to that. Hey, you know it's not I fair. Don't. We have to get all ready. <laughs> it's Dan, not Dan doesn't fair. Care. Dan's like, and I'm like, it's a whole job for women to like now. Mike slept in that t-shirt. I, I don't care what I look like. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's, just, I could spend three hours. I'm going to look the exact same. It's yeah, fine. not for us. That's it's so hard. <laughs> but um, that's good though. That's like everything that you're doing though. It's like the kitchen sink, right? It's a little education. Yes. It's a little bit of beauty. It's a little bit of self. And and then explaining why you'd want it, and then showing we like what it looks like in my head because you have to wear your brand, right? Yeah, for so sure. anywhere I go, I'm, even at a dance competition, I'm throwing so, all this hair in, yeah. walking around. The moms are gonna say, "What's? Oh my god, what color is that? I love your hair." I literally sold hair at dance competitions in the hotel rooms. Like they're coming to my room and like ordering they, hair. They could be fierce though, right? Oh, it's it could be like, Who is that? It's hysterical. <laughs> what's, what's you should just head? if you really want to get people talking, just leave the price tag on. I know. Anywhere. I know. What's that? Oh, I might return them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I absolutely love like the branding, how you put it together. I love like the talk about the video. Now you're saying people have questions of how yes. do I put this thing in? Oh, we do time. a lot of home theater stuff and the high end brands. Like if you buy a TV mount, literally comes with the QR code mm -hmm. that then goes, what TV are you doing? What, which size wall? And mm -hmm. have you thought about doing that? That's like, a great idea. And I would love to do that. Yes. Because right now I'm just giving them like, almost like a how-to visual, but not like a video. I did a video on myself recently, and that was helpful for some girls. Like, they did write me and say, oh, that was super helpful, thank you. But um, that's a great idea. Because, and, and like you even said, that like some people think they get seven pieces, maybe when they scan the QR code, what type of hair? Just know, you may not have to use all. If you're right. looking for a full, here's how right. to put them in, because that's what makes things high-end, is, yes. right? is how quick and easy you yes. make the whole process. Yes, exactly. And I think that's what like some people, because it is in the beginning with the business, or you're reaching out to people who have a lot of followers and trying to get them to buy from you. And it's funny, it takes time, right? So I would reach out to a bunch of girls in the beginning. They stay following me. They're watching from afar. And I just had one girl recently who wrote me and it was literally, let's say a Wednesday night. And she's like, can I get hair from you by Friday morning? Nice. And I'm like, absolutely. I'm like, I'll run there right now and send it out. So I did, I literally matched, she sent me a picture. I said, it's definitely this color, hot fudge, awesome, 20 inches. I ran, I overnighted. She was so happy. She threw it on her Instagram. And then this girl has a lot of followers. She does classes on how to do updos and this and that. That's so big and beneficial for me. And I actually asked her after that if she'd want to be an affiliate. 
and I give her her own personal code, right. and now she's promoting my hair extensions with her code or her own code. So you could color match based on a photo. A lot of the times, yes. It would have to be maybe like a red head is a little tougher, like certain colors. But again, like with extensions and the dimensions that I created, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like my hair may not be the exact color that I have in right now, but it, you can't tell because it's like there's so much in and it's blended and it's curled and it doesn't have to be matchy. It's actually better when it's not. So I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. Amazing job with the brand, like I said. Thank you. What's the email? Oh, here we go. <laughs> my email? Yeah. Jolie, hair extensions at Outlook.com. No, oh, he's going to let you have it. Why? Go ahead and tell him. So you've high end. You've you don't like it. it? No. You hate it. Wait, let him finish. He's scared so, for you. He's scared for you. I'm, so so you've, no, you've made, you've built, you're building a brand, okay. right? So you have this, you've spent all this money. Yeah, yeah. You have all this beautiful boxes, building a high end brand. If let's take a design, is it Gucci at Outlook.com or is it? Info at Gucci.com. Okay. okay, okay. Do you have a I website? Like yes. And what's your I'm website? Afraid, I'm afraid to tell you now. No, we're... Extensionsbyjolie.com. Perfect. Okay. So why <laughs> isn't your email address? Info at. Info at okay. extensionsbyjolie.com. Yeah. Danielle at. Yep. So, and, like and the reason I put you on the spot, no, no, this I is a marketing. He does this to everyone. I love it. Because it is a marketing and branding no, podcast. I love it. Yeah. When you email someone, you're basically advertising Outlook. Mm -hmm. Don't you want them? And it's going to make you that look that much bigger. You have, if I saw this box, I would think this should be a Nordstrom. If they can take it higher enough, I don't even know. Like, I see this as very professional. Mm -hmm. But then you email me from Outlook. I go, oh, it's nobody. Okay, okay. I can help you with this. That this would is be great. Easy. I, need this is a I real, always need help. That's a real easy one. No, that's a good one. I like that. But, but it's, and when you come, because every time, you, and I'm assuming you communicate a lot through email, yes. vendors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, no, that's great information. I didn't even, I honestly wouldn't even think about that. That's a good and, question. But, and this is what, part of what we talk about here on the podcast because you put all this work I know. and you can even think about the email, right? You have the website, all your, I'm going to assume you have the help of the content creator. Mm -hmm. All of your handles on social media are probably all the same. Mm -hmm. So you put all the work and effort into right. that. But one of the things, the biggest form of communication you left out is email. Yep. No, I and, love it. And that's great. You are not the only one that does oh, this. <laughs> He asks well, everyone. It's really? probably split Pro 70, 30 of people who have the really? wrong. More, more people don't have the right email. That's so interesting. Yeah. He no. just loves that. He just likes to point that <laughs> out. Now, as you rolled this out <laughs> through your launch and everything, did you initially just start with one package or no. you planned each of these different products and things? I and actually, this was not even the original package. I've already upgraded the packaging. Okay. The packaging originally came Upgrade. in like a plastic bag that just said Jolie on it, like on a cardboard folder thing. And listen, it didn't look terrible but as i was like staring at it in my sister's salon i'm like that is not luxury that does not look luxury like i i'm the biggest gimmicky person you could like have a cool box i don't even get it i'm like i want it i want it and so i'm like that i'm like i know that i'm the kind of person that visuals will get me every time so i was like no i cannot have this beautiful hair and this plastic bag so it looked like the halloween store yeah it didn't look right and then the plastic bag was almost not even like that clear so like it, you couldn't even see the colors that great and i'm like this is not it and, and it makes that weird sound. Yeah, yeah like it just wasn't good. And then oh, like in the heat, it was like bending weird. I'm like, I can't do this. Yeah. But it was a good start. And I learned, obviously, it's a whole learning process. You're not going to always hit it out of the park, like stage one. Always learning. I'm learning all the time. I'm making, all of this is a learning process. Now, when did sure. you officially launch? Oh, it has to be like... Four months ago, maybe? So it's brand new. Oh, so oh it's brand new. Yeah. No, I mean, I know it was new. I didn't realize it's it was that new. Brand new. new. It's so brand new. So what do the next six months look like? Honestly, it's we're killing it. It's right now. I might, actually, I might actually start to be present in the beauty suite. I know everyone loves the beauty suite on Staten Island. Okay. So they're great. And they, my friend Zana. Owns Julie just wants a discount on that. You know that, right? That's why she's. <laughs> Listen, no problem. Um, <laughs> Julie will be an affiliate. You could be yes. an affiliate. Oh my God. That'd be great. At I'm trying, I'm trying to get a lot of affiliates now. <laughs> But um, so yeah, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be seen in the beauty suite, which is great because they're a big bridal and prom. That's our next step. I actually did a bridal expo, and I wasn't sure how that was gonna go. I've never done one of these before. You go out with these conventions, and I'm like, Jersey Sheridan, where were you? It was Jersey. It was I can't remember the exact town. It was okay. It was good. It's all brides, and then they right. give, and then they give you their all their email and contact information, which is great. I set up a beautiful booth. Thank God I brought my sister because we were getting bombarded. And again, why it looks pretty. These girls do need hair. There's not a single bride that does not need hair extensions. Like everybody does. I don't even care if you're putting your hair up. You need hair extensions. So how many people did you have with you at the booth? So my sister and my mom came. My mom thinks she was she was just like the gacky one at the table. She's like, hello, oh my God. 
Because my dad's, he's famous in his own little right. My dad was on, the, say, on the Raging Bull. He was a professional boxer. So she, anytime like she gets the chance to talk about my dad, it's, it'll, that'll go on for. And he's also a great man, by the he's way. He's the best. They live up the block. I mean, he's the fantastic. Best. Yeah. And then my mom was in a commercial. So we have this. She has I a, forgot the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> so your whole family was in the commercial. We all did a Bresenio commercial. It was like a, it was about a, a breast cancer medicine, but they, it was during COVID, so they wanted to keep all the family members together at that time. Because normally they'll take you as the mom, and this guy as the dad. So they they always us, pick Mike for the mom. Yeah. <laughs> So they put us all together. And what it worked out great. Look he has. It was a national commercial. It was phenomenal. That's great. It was great. Now, so, yeah. was everybody at the activation, did they have the hair extensions in? So we had all everything set up. I did, did not expect to be bombarded like this at this expo. And, you know, because you remember, I have to match everybody. Then we were giving away merch bags, like if they bought it. Or get out, like, it had discounted it. And these girls were going nuts. We had expo pricing. We did amazing. Don't ever phenomenal. lower your prices. No, I will not. You can't because then I know, I know, I know. That's what we always said because that's the scariest part. I have to if say, I bought it for five, and then Nicole, his wife, could go buy it for three. I got robbed. I have to right? say that was my hardest thing with this starting this business was pricing. It was like like debilitating me, honestly. It, and next thing's just your business. That's a lot. It's so scary. It was like I don't know what to do. And you never want to start too little because no, it's harder to raise right. than lower. And the other problem is friends. Right? Uh, I know, I know. So you're I know. like, you I got know. 50 of your girlfriends who are like, oh, that's awesome, but I don't have to pay you, you're my friend. Right, and you're right. like, no, actually, you do. Call, call my communications person I know, or whatever. I know, you have I someone know. who does that so for you? So we have like a pro discount thing of the girls who are salon owners, like I want to sell it. That makes sense, of and course. And that's what's going on too. That's really, they'll come in and they'll sell it to whoever, and then they're making a little profit on it as well. So mm -hmm. that's been helping. That's basically the dealer distributor, yep, right? Exactly. You, you have a wholesale pricing yep. versus... And that's what we're doing. So if anybody, like any salon owners want to sell it, that's pretty much how it goes. And then this whole affiliate thing's even great. That's working out too. So, so let's talk about the affiliate thing because that is great, and especially in where social media yes. is. But how are you doing that? So I just started this. This is okay. brand new. Only because I had a few girls that were... They had so many followers, and I'm like, all right, how can I use them? You know what I mean? Like this is. I need them to start talking about this. How do you get all these girls to start talking about your hair? Oh, that's what happened. So a girl I wrote, she said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm using this other hair extension company. Or I work for them. So I'm like, oh. And then when you're like, how? What do you mean? So then I go yeah. on her page and I start like doing a little research and I see that she's, oh, buy this hair and then you could use code Julie20 and it's $20 off. And I was like, okay, 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 okay. So I started looking more into it and I'm like, all right, this is what I'm going to do. So I actually reached out to a bunch of girls. I made like a little like a professional looking thing that says if you want to do affiliate with me and you'll get discounts I'll get, I'll get commission and I got so many girls interested already so now my, my husband held on the professional paperwork because I'm the worst at that I'm like Chris they want to do it now what do I do I'm like I have no idea what to do. he's better at that stuff I'm like I'm just like put me in front of the camera you deal with the paperwork so he's yeah so we're gonna start with setting that out like contracts in a way of what it entails. and there's platforms because I helped the client with this okay. where you can actually generate affiliate links for them. Yes. Give them a dashboard. They could see yes. their sales. Yes. And they're very inexpensive. Yes. Yep. And then so you put together this real nice professional email yep. and then you email exactly. them from Outlook.com. Exactly. From Outlook.com. <laughs> no more Outlook.com. That's <laughs> no more it. It's getting changed tonight. It's been written down. <laughs> and then the other thing is your content Craig is going to tell you. And I apologize. What's the name? It's Christiana. Christiana. That's terrible. I'm terrible with names. My employees are It's a fancy you. name. Christiana. It is it's very fancy. fancy. Isn't it? But is... And especially where we are today, it's finding something on YouTube and then you sponsoring it. Oh, no. Now having a, someone else talk about a hair product wearing your extension mm -hmm. today's hair and learn about it in the affiliate link. Mm -hmm. And that's where you really end up yep. blowing up. So that's what I just started because I felt like I'm like, there's some like, piece I'm not figuring out. And then when I started to look into it, I'm like, oh, this is it. And I would be sponsoring a lot of Aggies hair metal bands because you want that to come back. Because think of how many men oh, need hair extensions. so much. The mullet is back. No, it's not. Yes, these young kids, am I right? There are some young boys, like 14, Prado 15, saying, yeah. their hair looks ridiculous. And it's between the, the flip up in the front and then the mullet in the back. I don't know what's going on, but they might need extensions. Good. Yeah, there you go. You, <laughs> you should be trying to get that movement yes. for men to have long Mullets hair. are in, guys. Mullets are so in. I don't know the answer for sure, but I'm going to guess. Okay. Is your web platform based on Shopify? So this is where I also think, I don't know if I made a mistake. I was going to do Shopify and then I did it on Wix and I don't okay. know if that was right or not. People keep saying Shopify is like the best e-commerce. Yeah, listen, I assumed it was on Shopify, so I take my... Okay, I, I kind so of take it back. there you go. But yeah, I mean, is I don't know if there's like a huge difference. I know they just said it's better for e-commerce stuff and now right. I'm like, all right, maybe I could... You always could change I know, change and I was actually speaking to someone about it already. Because so. I was going to ask you about that experience because we, we haven't had... I don't think we've had one, one guest yet. 
talk about the Shopify experience because millionaires are made overnight with Shopify and no one on the show yet has we've discussed that platform. I'm sorry, I, I can we I figure assume, that out? I, I, assume, I, I, I know, just and I'm actually like a little upset with myself because I didn't realize till after it was already made and then someone was like, oh, it's definitely Shopify. I'm like, damn it, should it be Shopify? Well, because they take care of everything, right? Yes. They do the printing of the labels, they do all that stuff. Yeah. But does Wix do Unless that you for you? Too big. So Wix seems more basic. Correct. Unless but, you get too big. But then you go to WordPress and it's yes. a, that's another story. That's but. a whole other thing. Yeah, I know. No, right now, Wix was fine. Like, it's doing its job for what it is. The website looks super pretty, and it's been an easy flow. It's attached to the square. Like, the whole thing right now, like, like the first launch Works. of it is working, and it's Good. fine. That's all that matters. But yeah, I know. There's so much more to it, though. Yeah. So I think Shopify has a little bit more features, like, that you can do to make yourself... A little more out there, so you always could change. I know. You can't Monday call back easy. because it, once easy. you every dis, you can't go back on I every know. decision you I made. Know. The email, I would definitely revisit. <laughs> That's number one on Just the revisit the email. <laughs> you just said you can't Monday morning quarterback. He's never going to let that go. And then please don't go to bed tonight until you change that email. Don't do that. <laughs> that would be great. Which one of the platforms are you getting the most success out of? Where and are you seeing? Instagram. Really? Instagram, I definitely get a lot from there. The website, I'm getting... So if they go on my Instagram and they see all the content, it's when I get the most buzz. Like right. I've had people from like other states, like where I'm just sending hair to... They've never met me. They've never seen the hair in person. Then they're getting it. I always ask them if they can post some kind of a video or a testimonial or whatever, right, and they love it. So thank for, everything's been great so far with that. Like, it, you are color matching them and not seeing them in person and then right. sending hair out to another state. Keep your fingers like, crossed and hoping for yeah. this. Yeah, but uh, so far everything's been great. No, co- no complaints. Everyone's loving the hair. They're going crazy for it. They love the colors. So that's the thing. It's, I know I have an amazing product. I'm so confident behind that. And like you said, it's just the whole business and growing in all the next stages is always where you're like, okay, what do I have to do next? Now? You learn and you keep going. Yeah. But do you have a color match guarantee? <laughs> so you can, if Such it doesn't match, it's okay. If it doesn't match... The thing is, it comes like in a plastic, so you can see the hair when you get it. But you don't want them. You can have a plastic. Because you can never sell it as new again. But that's where we get your resale section <laughs> exactly. on your site. <laughs> exactly. But so yeah, that's where we get Resale section? It's so <laughs> funny. I can't. The well, content that you're making, it's got to perform well on TikTok. So TikTok's tough now. Like I, so I, it's so funny. When COVID was here, I was the biggest TikTok crazy person. I was doing like funny things and being silly, and I loved it. I was actually getting a lot of a lot of views. Your Apple thing is one I remember. Remember the, the Apple one? The yes, Apple. and I, I do remember that. Was I, funny. That took like all. That took two hours to me because I, I was every person in the video. Like I had all these outfit changes. It was hysterical. But I love TikTok for that because I do like to be funny and do things like that. But I haven't done that funny side with the hair thing, which I'm like. It's that, I don't know, my husband's like, what you should do is on your other page, like your personal page, you could be the funny mom, blah, 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 on your TikToks and stuff, and then keep whatever. It's the brand separated. Keep but the brand separate. It's huge on TikTok. Oh, so huge. It's, and it's grown so much. It's got. It's more now, hey, watch me do with this ponytail, or watch me put this clip in, or curl my hair. So I just have to do more of that. You know what I mean? That's really what it is. It's but setting it up. If you use the TikTok ad platform, have you dabbled? I just saw it recently. If you use that, because you could sell anywhere. Okay. So it's not, so right now the geo targeting is limited. Like you can't just put a bubble around Staten Island like you can on Facebook, but you don't need to. You could just target women, your demographic. Okay. Put out an ad and you'll, they'll come in and you'll see. I did just see that the other day. I they'll was fly like, okay. as long as the content works. Okay. And Are you starting inexpensive. to get international sales? Not international. No, not yet. But I, mean, I, I am, fo- there are a few girls that are following me from like Germany and this and that. So we'll see. You know what I mean? And again, Girls are girls. It doesn't matter where you're from. So it's like everyone wants pretty hair. And if they like it, when you get more popular, it's all about. Do you have an Amazon shop? No. Should I have an Amazon no. shop? No. I feel like Amazon. No. We're no. Trying to, I'm trying no. to separate this they from take... Amazon. Why? Why? We were just saying. You're off camera. <laughs> no. They take a. Amazon they take a percentage. Amazon. You have, if, you can, if you have your own e-commerce platform, she there's, no, there's no reason to. If anything... You would then maybe do a shipping sell from Amazon through them, but rather than that, you would want Amazon to buy from you to sell. That would be the goal. Because my whole thing with Amazon was like a lot of these companies that are on there, they're selling clip-ins for thirty dollars. You know what I mean? And they make everyone feel for thirty cents. They're making everyone think that it's like this real gorgeous human rummy hair. It is garbage, and I always laugh because people don't always want to spend the money. You know how it is, but. They do end up spending more because they're literally spending 50, 100 times. And you're like, you could have just spent it one mm-hmm. time and then had your jewelry bag in your Amazon closet. Amazon is great to, as a quick way to buy some, but can you get a Rolex on Amazon? No. No, you right. can't get the exactly. best on Amazon and all the that's time. That's my point. So, so I was like staying away from that. Yeah. How many SKUs do you actually have? 
So I have about, let me think of what the exact total was. I think I have 600. Now, is that because wow. it's all different colors? So that was the problem. So it's all different colors and lengths. So you can't How do you just, stock that? I had to get a storage unit. And it's like an air-conditioned unit upstairs. I have it all organized. Like wow. per, it's, But it, we're, right now, we're renting an apartment until we build our house. So I don't even have a house right now. So I'm laughing. I'm going... Where are we putting 600 boxes of hair? So it came actually, and I wasn't home. And he's there's a there's a like, pallet, a pallet. Pa- yeah, literally a pallet. <laughs> odd and I'm snow. like, what do you want me to do? And he's should I leave it in the garage? In the garage, it's a parking garage. I said absolutely not. I'm like, he's dragging it all upstairs. He wanted to kill me. We couldn't even walk into the apartment because of it. Husbands are good for something, say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every once in a while. I'm glad I wasn't home that day. Yeah. Actually, yeah, perfect. But yeah, so we have it all organized and gorgeous. I have all the racks set up, and it looks like a it actually looks like a little store inside in the, the store. Yeah, yeah, I got like a 10 by 10, so it's like a nice size. And there's many businesses. I know businesses that are huge companies. I'm not going to name them here. Yeah. Who actually stocking storage you. If you're shipping, especially if you don't need a storefront, there's, it's cheaper than going and renting it is, a storefront. And, and for me, I like to have a storefront right now. That would like... Don't do it. No, I don't agree. I agree. It's a waste of money. I agree. No. Like, no. I like the pop-up walls in the girls' salons. Like, Sola yep. is amazing right now. Or Sola you could has... just do a pop-up. Right. You could do a pop-up at salons with you. Exactly. Put it on Insta, content creator. The, and all of a sudden, you got 50 girls who showed up to a new salon for the exactly. grand opening. Exactly. That's what we were, that was like the next thing with the beauty suite. The beauty suite was like that we were going to have this big launch party and we're like getting everything like that together. I, I actually have a meeting Thursday, so we're going to hopefully solidify all that. But yeah. Yeah, the money you're going to spend on rent, you could exactly. use to yeah. throw pop up events. Exactly. And- exactly. So Somewhere. outside of the hair. How many different accessories and different things do you have? So I said, let me have a little bit of merch because I know the girls like that. So we have the detangler brush. I have sectioning clips. Like when you're doing your hair, you like hold the clips up. We have the... Yes, it's not what I thought it was. It's definitely not. (laughs) I know. You really can't even see the picture. Like, what is that on there? From here, it looks like a knife. (laughs) Yeah, it's just... It looks like a... Can't say it on the podcast. This is a family-friendly podcast. Yeah, yeah. And these are hair grippers that you just... They're kind of like Velcro. They also hold all the flyaways away when you're putting your hair extensions in. So we did that. I have the garment bags that say Jolie on them with the hangers that say Jolie on them. So we have a lot of nice merch with the brand. So it's nice. It all goes all together with the whole theme. So away from the brand, more more personal. Yeah. So most people know who your husband is on staff. So you guys are both very entrepreneurial. Yes. And you are a very dedicated mom and he's a very dedicated dad. Yes. So talk about the work-life balance. So how are you both out there every day starting Um, businesses, running businesses? We definitely have our roles for sure. People ask all the time because Chris is very busy with what he's doing and it takes, it just takes so much work. Anything you're starting, anything that's a big deal is going to take a lot of time and effort and so we've always had the roles where like he was the working one and I was stay at home mom for a long time. And I still am, at, but I just felt like I needed something for myself and the kids are getting bigger now. So it makes my life a little bit easier, but we still have our roles. I'm the one who takes care of the kids and runs them around and does everything. I'll take them to the store, you know, I'll take them to a pop-up shop with me and they know they'll, like today, my daughter was helping me package something. So I'm doing that while being the mom. How old are they? I have a 14 year old, 10 and nine. Right. Yeah, so so you they're got, all you got labor. Though. You got to work for yeah, it. Exactly. Free labor. But it's free. It's actually That's legal to make That's free work. You don't have to pay And you kids. know what? They can do the laundry now. They can start helping out around the <laughs> house <laughs> because it's like, there's only so much you could do, right? As one person and then yeah. you explode. And I'm the kind of person like I'll get in my head so I won't sleep at night if I'm thinking about ideas and I hate that. So it's, you don't want to get yourself too crazy. I want to be, enjoy this process. You know what I mean? I don't want to get myself to a point where I'm like overly stressed because when you have kids and moving and my husband and a life. It gets crazy. That's when you hire people. You never I have agree. to be overly stressed. I agree. We're heading there. We're heading there. But, uh, you know. doing, I, go ahead. It was saying you were doing real estate up until yes. the pandemic. Yep. I worked for, I still actually work for, I work for a Coldwell banker now. I, okay. I switched over, but I, I did it. And right before we moved, I didn't expect to move. That's what happened. So I was doing real estate in Staten Island. I was doing great. I loved it. And I ended up finding a house on the water and I couldn't say no to it. So we just moved our whole family to Oceanport, New Jersey. And we're building a beautiful house on the water. How far from here? It's Ocean like Port. 45 minutes to an hour, yeah, depending on traffic. It's deep. It's far. deep. It is deep. It's wow. literally five minutes from Pier yeah. Village. That's far. Oh, all right. It's super close. But it's still an hour from Staten Island. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but you know well, what? Most of that's getting off the island. I know. That's, yeah. But that's where we all would go, right? If we want to go to the beach, we're like, let's go to London. Now yeah. I'm five minutes from yeah. it. I'm living on the beach, which right. is what I always wanted. That was why it was hard set. So I was like... 
I'm putting the real estate on the side. I was, I had all these hopes and dreams of coming back and forth and selling houses like while living in Oceanport. I'm like, not that's not going to work. Like, mm-hmm. how am I going to show people houses? People so, buy houses in Jersey. Well, that's why I did take the <laughs> class. I have to take the test. So I do have, I'm starting it, but it's like, how many things am I going to do? You know uh-huh. what I mean? My husband's always a big believer of if you're going to do something, do one thing and kill it and not yeah. do 10 things because then you're, something's going to not have your full attention. I've never met your husband, but follow him on Instagram. I think even on TikTok. Yeah, he's the Instagram guru now all of a sudden. Just so you know, (laughs) he was the shyest guy when I met him. Never even had a piece of social media. (laughs) And I remember one day he's like, I'm going to Instagram because I think I'll do it for the business. He also has a construction company and he's like, I'm going to do... I'm like, I was a little concerned because I know social media could be like... And look at him now. He's like famous. We'll go out to Pennsylvania. Like, oh, oh Stout. Yeah. And you know, I'm like, how did you become famous? <laughs> and I see him like he's traveling. Yeah. He was just the other day yes. somewhere looking at properties. Yes. Yeah. Well, he'll do that in one day. Like he'll say, oh, I'm going to go to Arkansas for the day or that sounds and funny. Kentucky for the day. And then he'll leave early in the morning, do his thing. And it's so funny. I always say to him, stay over because I'm like, if I was doing it, I'd stay over. Yeah. I'd go to dinner. And I'd, I'd be concerned when he's, I'm going to Miami. For I the day. know. <laughs> that's me. I'm the one who goes to Miami. So that's the problem. He's like, I'm, I'm going, going to there. Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know. I'm like, see you later. Have take fun. Care have fun. Yeah, no. So he's doing, he's killing it with that. And again, he's killing it with the social media. It's content is everything. It's a lot of work, but if you're just consistent with it and give in for him, it's a lot of informational stuff, which is great. He's always, I just feel like I, I never, have, I don't know what I'm going to say next. I'm like, how could you say that? I'm like, what am I, how many ponytails am I going to make? I'm like, you have so much information to give. It's so much easier. I feel, but no, he's doing great. But we try to balance it. It's definitely hard. We're good where we make time for each other. We'll make sure we have date nights. That's super important. If it's 8 o'clock, I fed the kids, and we live in Pure Village right now, so we're so we're yeah. in like a playground right now, yeah. restaurants. I'll be like, let's just go downstairs and grab a drink and hang out. Because I can't talk to him in the house, I feel like, with the kids. Right. It's, we're, like I said, it's not even a house, but it's an apartment right now, so it's just it's a little crazy. We go downstairs, and we hang out, and we catch up. And that's, that's what saves the marriage. Even when kids get older, they're annoying? Oh, beyond. <laughs> you know what? Worse. It's three opinions. It's three opinions. Well, you outnumbered well, people. yourself. I did right. outnumber myself. When they were little, I used to go, let's go to the park. And they were like, yay. No. Now it's, let's go to the park. No. Yes. No. Uh, it's three different people shouting at you. And you're like, oh, yeah, I can't do this. It's my, I can't. When I get home from work, my wife, so I have a six and a three-year-old. Yeah. And I get home and my wife looks defeated. Oh, sh- and the kids don't won't be saying any aren't saying anything. As yeah. soon as we start talking, <laughs> oh, of course, mom, dad, what's this? What's that? Like, what about when you pick up a phone? Oh, the minute God. you pick, they aren't even looking at you. They're like YouTube zombies. Room. All of a sudden, I'll pick up the phone. Oh, mom. I'm like, why are you talking to me? From a different room. This is a phone in my hand. Why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to me? I'm like, I'm confused. There's a phone in my hand. They don't care. They're still talking. But I think something important that you said is that you guys went on a date, and oh, that's yeah. something for. Me and my wife, that's something we promised each other always. We always mm-hmm. had Thursday always date night. each other. Keep it fun. Keep yes, it real. it's like, so make important. Make time for yourself. Every relationship or any marriage I've ever, and I, was, I used to bartend forever too, so I used to listen to everybody's sorrows and happiness or whatever it was. And I always used to say, what's going on? Or if their rela- relationship wasn't doing well. And it was always that they never went out with each other. They, it was always the same thing. And I used to, and to me, I used to think that was so crazy because I'm like, do you have no idea how fast you can reconnect with someone when you just put the phones away for an hour even and sit across from each other at a table or go to a bar or whatever you do and just listen to each other? You have, they, no one realizes how important that is because I could literally hate Chris, like the dumbest things because the kids are driving me nuts or I'm just like stressed out with everything I have going on and womenly things because we're all crazy every once a month. And, uh, and then I'll just say, let's go get dinner or go to the bar or a night in the city. Sometimes we do that. We'll go to, the, we'll go to Manhattan. It's, we're dating again. Back to normal. That's good. Yeah. That's when good content go- for the page, by the way. Yes. That is. Are you watching? Oh, she's, oh, she's <laughs> oh, filming. Good. Oh, she's got it. I mean, she's got it. Because <laughs> those are 20 snippets. Oh, yeah. About this is... how women are going to relate to you and then realize, oh, and I could spend $500 on her. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Listen, it's always it. nice to be relatable, right? I definitely am a girl's girl for sure. I've always been the type to be like, you're gorgeous. What are you doing? And I've never been the type to be like envious from afar and not be nice to somebody. I'm very friendly and very social. So I feel like this is perfect for me to have this. It's, it's a girl's world and I'm great in that. So you just went on date night. Why don't you, you show us what you got? What'd you do? My wife and I went, we got some, we got new tattoos. So <gasps> it's, under oh, under the bandage. it's under the bandage. I want to do when that. When you went like this, I'm looking and I'm like, what the hell is he that? It looks were, like glue. Yeah, it's like, I, no, but I didn't know you got a new tattoo. <laughs> it's, That's hysterical. What'd you do? Yesterday? It's just, they put a skin on it. Okay. It's like a new 
that this. I have it. I know how tattoos days. work. I just didn't know you got. <laughs> I didn't know you got. But you don't want to learn how a tattoo works. Just saying. I didn't no, know. So okay. it's a it's an era. We got married on Valentine's uh, Day, okay. and then our kids were both born. They're four days and two days. Four years and two days apart. Okay. So they only August have date night up. once a year. Oh. So we went and got new tattoos. We That's got, a, so I love that. It says August in here and the 26th and 28th. That. I love meaningful tattoos. It's so nice. That's nice. It is yeah. nice. I'm not getting a tattoo for my wife. I always joke around. I'm like, let's go well, get tattoos. We got these on our honeymoon too. What it does says that say? My, it says my soulmate in Gaelic. Oh, it says something in Irish. That. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I kids, like potatoes or something. Our, <laughs> our kids are Gaelic and garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Pasta yeah. and potatoes. We keep them. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I like that. But isn't that nice, right? Yeah. When you just go out and do something special. It was spontaneous. Yeah, we went and to a restaurant we've never been so to fun. before. It's there was so definitely fun. no liquor involved, I'm sure. <laughs> it's Dan. There's well, always no, actually, liquor involved. It, for dinner, he was like, I was dead sober for dinner, eating dinner. Was it? We went, and then just got a tattoo. We went to dinner and we're like, wait, we still have a babysitter for three hours. You're like, party <laughs> so, time. Let's go get some ink. So let's know. We went to a bar after. We got the tattoos first. Yeah. <laughs> He had that. He got that tattoo at eleven in the afternoon. So it was a sober decision. Oh yeah. Okay, that's good. Unlike the one on my arm, which is, <laughs> I got my own initials tattooed on my arm. Oh, in case my. you forget. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to forget that. People just think I'm Dominican because it says DR on my arm. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> and right. the font. So that the was font really. That was also an interesting story with me and my wife, but that's a whole different kind of podcast. Different podcast. <laughs> I bought a bar the same day, and then I ended up with the tattoo. Oh, you're very spontaneous. That makes sense. He's no, really just like he, living on the edge whenever he goes out. Very drunk. <laughs> He's like, let's get a bar. It was a different, yeah. He was probably <laughs> drinking in the bar. And so the bartender was like, I hate this place. That's I'm selling so it. And he's like, I'll take it. That's, <laughs> how, the Marine, that's how the Marines started. What? I'll take it. It started in a bar. The Marines. Yeah. Oh, so he makes a lot of decisions at the bar. A guy named Audie Murphy went into a bar. He needed troops or whatever and got people to sign up while that they were drinking. He bought them rounds of drinks. So and funny. Oh, that's yeah. the fastest God way to get things the Marine done. Corps. That's what happens when you're drinking at a bar. We've done a lot of things like that, too. We bought a boat. We were, like, at a bar one night, and I'm like, why Why don't we have a boat? I'm like, we always, we love he's the like, boat. Yeah, why don't we? we yeah, well, of course, drunk. He's, <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was, like, it's the funniest bar. conversation, because I'm like, we love the boat in Florida. Like, we would always rent boats in Florida and take the kids, like, in Naples, and I'm like, why don't we have a boat here? We love a boat. And he's like, you're right, Dan, why don't we? Literally, the next morning, I, like, called to find out what boat store was open, like, in, on a Sunday, and we found one, and he purchased it that day. You were... In a bar, stores? making this decision. In a bar, making a decision. You, you could have just made friends that had a boat. <laughs> it would have been a lot cheaper. You know cheaper. what? He can't do that. He's the <laughs> captain. Have your own. Like he's too much of the he's captain. captain. He's a captain, no captain. No, he can't do that. He won't do it. <laughs> he has to be in control of the day. Like, he has to be the one. Like to, It's very, we always say that. Like, we would take people out. And leaving from Staten Island to go to Jersey with the boat was a long day. It would, like, last till 10 o'clock at night. And we used to say, do our guests like like this? Or do you think they're afraid to tell us that they hate this? I'm not sure. Because it's such a long day and they're like prisoner on our boat. Leave. They can't go right. anywhere. What are they going to do? It's terrible. And then the ride back is like rough and it's, it's cold. Terrible. And we're <laughs> like, it was so funny. But now living there, we're like, we're on the water. So the, now it's just like nice little strolls, like on you the Shrewsbury. The yeah, we still have the same boat. I call her Betsy. I'm like, it's time to retire Betsy. We have to have, <laughs> have another conversation about boats. But there you don't need a big boat because you're like already on. It's not crazy over there. Whatever. From drunken tattoos to boats. Uh, we're going <laughs> to... To Raps we're, Rant. We're, 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 we skipped Raps Rant. No, so. I think we can end with Raps Rant. We, we're going to yeah. end with Raps Rant? We can yeah, do things different. Good. So we'll end with Raps Rant. Good. <laughs> Usually no. we begin with this. Oh, so we'll end your rant. Okay, I feel special. I'm still going to reel it in. Something different. Raps Rant. All right, so the rant actually applies to you. Okay. So my rant... Every week we have a rant where I just basically say what bothers me. So oh. that's what this is. Oh, all right? And a lot so, of things bother him. So oh, I hate everything bother. and everybody. Yeah, yeah I'm pissed off. Everything keep bothers positive. me too. You try to keep it positive. I do yeah. try to keep it positive. But, but you also want to keep it real. Right. Sometimes it doesn't work. So privacy. Yeah. Now, Mr. Tech Guru. There so, is no privacy. I know there's no privacy. But at what point is there really no privacy? And do you know the answer to what we're really allowed, or what people are allowed to collect and not. I know that's a loaded question, but here's an example. Went to lunch yesterday, my nephew, Joe, a couple other people, Prado. We're talking about kids and testosterone and levels like that, just like normal conversations. Can't wait to see your Listen, ads on Facebook. That's what I'm saying. So today, we all got ads, every one of us, for Elevate something it's called or whatever, uh, and it's like repeatedly. And me, uh, Gary, Cheech, we're all texting each other back. They don't listen. But what I'm saying is, what do you even know what, listening capabilities are is that a thing no or because it... they lie they tell you they don't listen they tell you they are not listening but they are they if you talk to anyone yet Look, in facebook Dan's they, getting mad. 
No, oh, they no. are one hundred percent listening. They tell you they what they gather is lookalike audiences. Correct. Now people if, pay me to so, deliver however, lookalike audiences. I if know. one, unless one of you, if one of you four, you those four of you at lunch, right? If went home and then started googling testosterone, now it's possible you. But if you're all saying none of you did that. They're listening. Right. They always None happenings. of us did that. Because because me and my wife will have a conversation. And look, the problem is we all have Alexa. We all have Google Homes in our house. Who, who uses But that's what I'm saying. So it actually, like, you say it. Like, we always say, yeah, it's listening. But it, it was. It always is. Right. But this is like a real example. They claim it's not. That was in my face that I couldn't, that's I couldn't so chalk bad. it up to just. But however, yes, they're listening. We, in, it's 2023. I've given up on privacy. You have to know you have no privacy and look at the benefit. The fact of how easy it is when I go on my phone and I do need something, how quick I get it, oh, how, yeah. how many times I'm on Facebook and buy something stupid that I would have probably never found because it comes to me. That's what you want. You want people like me. Like I, I buy the stupidest shit <laughs> look around. at 6.30 a.m. when I wake up. I literally I am know. on my – the first thing I do is I go on my Facebook feed and I'm like, ooh, mm-hmm. eh, pretty bye. Oh like, my god, I'm a shopaholic. I'm like in trouble all the time. Send him an it's email so at bad. six in the morning. Oh. To buy so basically, what first you're saying is that it is a real thing. It's not just oh, something that society but, says they're listening. It's a joke, and we move no, on. No, we all say it. We all know it. It's how many times? I never really we, knew it though until yesterday. They always do. And but they but when you talk to them, they sell them. But who's theory. gonna read the who's gonna read the terms? Who we all Correct. agree to all these terms and conditions. Right. Do we read them? No, because. Wait, no you need cares. a lawyer. You, I have to pay a lawyer 10 hours to read the terms and then break it and summarize it. However, now that we have ChatGPT and Bing Chat. Oh, here we go. How we could, amazing is ChatGPT? It's the, well, so ChatGPT. His whole so, life is written. Wait, wait. So life. tell on, this is great, Truth. though, because ChatGPT is great. But now talking about privacy, I did a TikTok on this today. Microsoft yesterday announced the insider preview for businesses for Bing Chat Enterprise. The difference with Bing Chat Enterprise is if, again, with ChatGPT, if you look at the terms and conditions, mm-hmm. everything you're searching, they're able to take. Searching is different than no, speaking. No, but how, I, I understand. Yeah. However, with chat, Bing Chat Enterprise, it's your data. They are not taking your data. They're not learning off of your data. It's designed to stay within your tenant, and that's part of the business package. So it's ChatGPT. With search capability, so now we're with the ability to control privacy. your privacy. Yes, you are paying so it. Instead of just having it, we're paying for it now. It makes but sense. Yes. Microsoft privacy. is giving it to you free with a business license, which we're going to help you to get for email. <laughs> it has search capability, so it, it's amazing. And then we've spoke about Copilot. They announced the pricing for Copilot, right. which is, if you think ChatGPT is amazing, wait till you see what Microsoft Copilot could do. Oh you could literally go on Microsoft Copilot and open PowerPoint and be like, I need a 10 slide presentation to help sell my product to Amazon. It'll literally search and create the presentation images and all. What about these kids? How are they ever writing an essay? No, ever it's again fine. It's a tool. It's a tool, right? Think about, I would love this is, that tool. This is what he says. But no, it's well, it's probably going to be when, something that comes out that it's, Pir- it's out now. What's the name of the product? There is something. Someone said something it. about that. Yeah, right. it's Chat GPT proof. Okay. But however, think about this way. When we were in high school, right? We're all around the same age, except Dan's very old. When we were in, <laughs> when we were in high school and you went to go do math, right? Did they let you use a calculator? No. No, you're never going to have a calculator. I have a computer in my pocket at all times. At all times. Do you do when I go and do math now? Can I do math in my head? Yes. They actually let the kids use calculators. Yeah, right, because they realized that because that was silly to not. Yeah. So right now the whole thing is no, you can't use ChatGPT like in, in higher education because they're worried about again the same way they worry about calculator. You're not going to always have it. Guess what? In ten years from now, even no now they already have AI no, in their pocket. I agree. My kid's not going to college. College is how so old is your oldest? Fourteen. She's not probably going to college either. We talk about this all the time. Trade school. Yeah, she wants to do like hair and makeup, she says. And I'm actually okay with that. Because you know what? Like, you have to know your kid too. Like, we, she's not a school kid. So it's like, what am I going to do? Torture her? Make her right. spend all this money? And for what? I went to college and I never did anything with it really. Uh, it's crazy. I did speech pathology. I had a literal amazing, I had a master's degree. And I came off and went around the amazing race. And so <laughs> my life changed. That's how you got out of debt. <laughs> and my life changed. I didn't even know it away from that. I, I think I worked in that field for five minutes and realized it was not for me. So. I definitely did not like listening to me then, Tegay. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? I went to for many years. But <laughs> to like, receive service. Oh, right. To receive <laughs> services. <laughs> free out, free non-Outlook email to help me speak English. Uh, but... <laughs> 
No, the but the whole thing. Can you imagine if she said, "My door is not doing hair." Who does hair? I would have left. Yeah, you're not doing hair. No, <laughs> I know. I'm like, listen, hair. My sister's a hairdresser. She makes more money than teachers and girls that, that went right. to school for for four years and have degrees. If you are talented and not afraid of the camera and can put yourself out there, you can kill it. Doctors, lawyers, accountants, you got to go. And Everybody else, not, you don't need. If you're not afraid to work, yeah. I mean, everything to... now is education too. Like a lot of hairdressers are doing education. It's it's everything right now. It's yeah. just, it's well, insane. We always, we talk about this a lot. YouTube University. Where mm-hmm. are people learning? Yeah, absolutely. If, if you're willing to put the work into it, if you're willing to work hard, and you could do, there's no reason for college. No, I, um, I it's silly. College I mean, dropout. Listen, look at all these, look Even at Google. uh Even Google. What? Google. You have the litany of learnings that Google gives to learn their own products. And the Pardon, of, I want that here. Litany of learnings. I want that. <laughs> I, like, seriously. I need like, chat GPT to tell me what that if, if you learn what Google teaches you from their own products, you could get a job out of high school. Oh, Google certifications and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's going to be so many things. By the time my daughter's go, even thought about college, I'm sure so much is going to change. It's yeah, insane. It flip. It's going to flip. The model's broken. Listen, as long as you understand money... And that's, that's right. really and what it comes down to. And that's Ironic my biggest enough. thing. And I feel bad, but I was just away with a bunch of moms for a dance thing. And one of them was a teacher and she makes no money. And she was complaining about the pay. And I said, besides that, I'm like, it's really sad that like you guys can't make your own curriculums because these kids, what the, who care? My daughter came home one day and she's like, mom, I, I failed social studies. I couldn't help but want to scream. I don't care. I don't care. Honestly, I could give a shit. It doesn't matter to me at all. I'm like, you failing social studies doesn't means nothing to me. Right. So in my head, I'm like, and then the teacher, of course, is emailing me like, oh, she didn't do her homework. And I'm like, but what I want to say really is, no, how about you take out a checkbook or teach them what mortgages are and teach them how to buy a house Never and what a down- how to budget. Yeah, we literally just gave our kids that quiz. We said the new thing with kids don't want to ever talk to us and when they get older. So our new thing now is when we have dinner with them is you we like them. ask them oh. questions. Yeah. We ask them <laughs> questions. Like we try to make it fun. I try to make it like a competition thing. So the most recent one was how much money do you put down on a house? If you were to buy a house, you know, how much money do you whatever. They my daughter actually the one that we don't think ever pays attention was answering all of them and we were like, Oh my god, I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I think she's gonna make it in life. I think we're fine. <laughs> the best one would have said nothing. You're gonna put the money down for me. Yeah, my husband was like, I don't think so. <laughs> so <laughs> we try to make that very clear. You're not. But yeah, so as long as they know that, I think that they're gonna be and, okay. And that's what college should be. College should it's be teaching not, how to read though. a PL, it's so not. how to budget, yeah. how to know not to put everything on a credit card because right. the interest rate is not what you think right. it is. That's what they should be teaching. And like you said, lawyers, doctors. Well, you got it. That's it. Of course. Uh, if you're gonna do like that, specific you have things, to. like right. obviously medical, of course. Things that you really need to learn and have a degree in, absolutely. But there's so many things that like how many successful men in the world did not even go to college and they're billionaires? You know what I'm saying? Jeff like Bezos. most of them. Yeah. yeah. Most, most of them they just need them. to understand business and money and how to work the money. It's really how it goes. Did you, but it's funny though, because we always talk about, I, I do it. You go on YouTube, you go on TikTok, you watch, watch something. And that before you maybe go do that, there was the TikTok video of the doctor before the procedure watching a video on how to do it. And people oh were flipping out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like he was literally the guy that was waiting sense. to get ready to get his surgery, and he oh walked by, and the God. doctor was watching a video on oh, how to complete. I think the I did see that. That's very. Funny. And I'm like, I, I'm like, that's good. I want him to recap. Yeah, yeah. Maybe <laughs> he forgot something. Oh, maybe you want to <laughs> refresh your memory. They gotta, they probably that's how they got to study robotics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Robotics like, seems so hard. Oh my gosh. You go to like the Liberty Science Center, and you try to yeah. do that. I can't do it. I'm like, how do they do this? <laughs> no, I oh my that. gosh, I definitely don't have the medical brain. I'm like, this is insane. No, fun, there's like, another podcast called Rumsey Connections that I'm also one of the hosts of that there's a whole episode. Dan's about famous, robotics. just so you know. I didn't realize this. Dan's thing. very famous. Oh my gosh. Uh, he's a I'm legend in his own nice mind. <laughs> he's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> That's He'll why he, he touches up after 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to keep the hair good. He's the talent. He just shows up, sits down. I know my skill set. Points fingers. I know my strengths. Points fingers. Gets awkward tattoos. Dan. Oh, you from All right, so let's reel it in. We got Danielle here. Tell us all the handles. Where can we learn more? Okay. How can people find your product? So you can go on my Instagram is Jolie underscore extensions. Is that okay, that name? No, that's good. <laughs> yeah. And then extensionsbyjolie.com. Again, that'll also be on the Instagram, so you'll see that. And I do have a TikTok. It's Jolie Extensions, but it's new. So we're up and coming, trying to really get that off the ground. But yeah, my website and my Instagram right now are how you could find me. Perfect. So everybody, 
check her out. Do you have any last words, parting words of wisdom to Just anyone so, starting a business? Oh, starting a business is always, there's always going to be so many things that are going to make you want to quit every five seconds and say forget it and you have to just ignore the noise you have to ignore all the stresses and the noise ignore the noise i, I that love tattoo. that saying ignore, if i was to get a tattoo it would be ignore the noise because that goes dan's going again anything tomorrow. in life You'll, he'll get that tomorrow look see that's, that's my the next inspiration one. of the day it's just a great line because it's like how much noise is there in the world of just in negativity or about yourself you do it to yourself right we can beat ourselves down so it's just ignoring the noise and the stresses of life and just always keep pushing forward and consistency Love it. Ignore the noise. Ignore the noise, everyone. I like it. It's Daniel Stout. <laughs> follow her. Check her out. Don't forget when you're watching or listening to this episode to follow us at M Squared Podcast. Press the like button. Subscribe. I'm Anthony Rapp. I'm Mike Bloomfield. I'm Dan Ryan. And that's a wrap. <laughs>